Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion for Sunday, the 23rd of May, 2021. When you understand, you will stand firm no matter the situation. You will face the devil because you know you are a victor. Every mountain before you will submerge in the presence of your understanding. The centurion sends friends to tell Jesus not to bother coming when Jesus was very close to his house because he said he was not worthy to receive Jesus. He prefers for Jesus to say the word and his servant will be healed. The centurion understands the power of words. No matter what your situation is, the word of faith has the power to liberate you. As you declare the word concerning your situation, I see you elevated and liberated. You will possess your possession. All that the enemy has stolen from you will be restored back in sevenfold. You will increase and not decrease. The works of your hands will be blessed. God will cause humans to favor you. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the sure word for today's series is the Stages of Marriage, Part 1 of 7 The promises God gives us in His Word can give us hope and direction as we trust in Him. Knowing the promises of God can help you in your daily life to be able to navigate both big and small decisions and to conquer fear, temptation and danger. The truth shall set you free. The affirmation for this week's show word for today, God loves me so much. All Bible quotations are from the King's James Version, unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. Here is the Bible verse quote. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. End of the Bible verse quotation. The fear you have is because you are not perfect in love. Love is deep, and it is more than falling in love. There is a big difference between falling in love and being in love. We often mix the word being in love with someone and actually loving someone. Being in love with someone can originate from infatuation, possessiveness, and obsession. What is more common in developing surface feelings is where both of you talk, hold hands, hug and kisses. You feel lonely when your spouse is not around you. You crave and yearn for that person to be with you all the time. Philophobia is a tremendous and unwarranted fear of falling in love, beyond just a typical apprehensiveness about it. The phobia is so intense that it interferes with your life. Symptoms can vary from person to person. They can include both emotional and physical reactions when even thinking about falling in love. Symptoms include avoidance, feelings of intense fear or panic, sweating, rapid heartbeat, difficulty breathing, difficulty functioning and nausea. The fear caused by philophobia is irrational but also victims might be unable to control it. Philophobia is also more common in people who have experienced trauma or hurt in the past. Treatment options vary depending on the severity of the phobia. Options include therapy, medication, lifestyle changes or a combination of these treatments. Often. We are too judgmental when certain people have marital issues without being aware that many underlying problems could be responsible because of the lack of understanding of love. Although you may have the patience and understanding to hold on and skill through any difficulties if you understand and have knowledge of love. Data reveals that the top reason married couples decide to split is not due to infidelity as most people think but due to the lack of communication between couples. Communication in a relationship is like oxygen for life. Without it, relationships die. 
you can lose someone from a lack of communication, attention, and disrespect. Communication is the foundation of any relationship. The goal of marriage is not to think alike, but to think together. We have reached the end of part one of the short word audio devotion series titled The Stages of Marriage. The Word of God, conceived in the heart, formed by the tongue and spoken out of the mouth, is creative power. No matter what you are going through, you have the creative power in your tongue to change and turn things in your favor. Join me today to speak life into your circumstances so you can live above your challenges. Repeat every word I read and be blessed. Do not leave gaps in this recording. I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. Please read after me. Today is a brand new day. Today is a brand new day. I am so excited and looking forward to today. I am so excited and looking forward to today. I want to take this opportunity. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for keeping me alive. To thank God for keeping me alive. To see another day to see another day. A day filled with goodness and lots of possibilities. A day filled with goodness and lots of possibilities. It is a day that the Lord has made. It is a day that the Lord has made. And I am going to rejoice. And I am going to rejoice. And I will be glad about today. And I will be glad about today. Today, I am confident. Today, I am confident that I will possess my possession. That I will possess my possession. I woke up this morning, I woke up this morning, feeling very positive, feeling very positive and optimistic about today and optimistic about today. Now, I will get up and kickstart my day. Now, I will get up and kickstart my day without holding back, without holding back. I will increase and never decrease. I will increase and never decrease. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. The works of my hands are blessed. The works of my hands are blessed. I take pride in the opportunities life has given me. I take pride in the opportunities life has given me. I will make good use of every opportunity at my disposal. I will make good use of every opportunity at my disposal. I am bold, focused and very courageous. I am bold, focused and very courageous. I will not allow any situation to discourage me. I will not allow any situation to discourage me. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I conquer fear and failure. I conquer fear and failure. I am born to win. I am born to win. God sent his word and healed me. God sent his word and healed me from sickness and disease. From sickness and disease. The word of God has delivered me from destruction. The word of God has delivered me from destruction. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My mind is renewed by the word of God. God promised he will never leave or forsake me. God promised he will never leave or forsake me. I am not afraid anymore. I am not afraid anymore. I believe in God. I believe in God. And it is accounted unto me for righteousness. And it is accounted unto me for righteousness. I confess the word of God. I confess the word of God. And my confessions are made unto salvation. And my confessions are made unto salvation. The word of God has set me free. The word of God has set me free. And I am free indeed. And I am free indeed. I speak against depression and fear. I speak against depression and fear. I speak against every attack from the enemy. I speak against every attack from the enemy. I speak against everything that comes to destroy the purpose in my life. I speak against everything that comes to destroy the purpose in my life. God supplies all my needs, including my finances. God supplies all my needs, including my finances, according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So I stand on the altar of supernatural supply. So I stand on the altar of supernatural supply and decree financial increase to be my identity and decree financial increase to be my identity. 
finance i command you right now to flood my life finance i command you right now to flood my life money comes to me now money comes to me now and i receive the abundance of god's supplies in jesus name amen and i receive the abundance of god's supplies in jesus name amen we have reached the end of today's short word for today and the declaration of the short word capsule the creative power of the word of god thank you and god bless you <music>